Chris and PJ from Sound Proofing Expert. Today we're on our way to West London to build a 6.5 metre by 4 metre home recording studio. This is one of the biggest builds we've shown on our channel today. So stay tuned for part one as we put on the outer shell of the building and navigate the 60 metre long garden. This is the concrete base we did last time, which is about 10 centimetres larger than the building, so a little bit of an overhang on either side. The size of the building is 6.5 by 4 metres. This area is going to be the live room, so this, that's going to be the live room. There's going to be a grand piano in here. And then this is going to be double soundproof, so it's going to be a room within a room. And this room here is just going to be a very chunky garden room. <laughs> so it'll just be like a single skin wall, but with double plasterboards and more insulation than normal. Um, and also on the front of here, we're going to have some uh, bifold doors, three sort of section bifolds. There's going to be a window at the side here. A uh, window at the front and then a window in between the two rooms, a door a bit at the back to go between the studio control room and the studio live area. So yeah, we're just getting ready now to get these base plates secured to the concrete base. Um, and then we'll start getting the building up. So hopefully by the end of today, it's now about half one, two o'clock, we should have the walls up. Um, and then this dividing wall and then tomorrow morning we can come back and put the, the roof on. This is the front part of the live room. So this is gonna be the window, which will uh, be an aluminium window, but it'll be fixed with laser glass in front. Obviously this dividing wall here, we're gonna have a door to get through. This is all gonna be wall. This is gonna be a room within a room, this one. So we will come through here. And then we've got a door there. And then there's gonna be bifolds at the front here window there obviously this will be the back wall yeah we're just getting some of the panels in now it's uh, unfortunately the weather's been pretty horrendous so just been a massive downpour uh, but yeah guys are getting some of the panels in now about half the building up now just stop raining so that's good it's all getting there but it's gonna get dark soon so we had to start filming for a bit just because the weather's been so bad and it's got a bit dark and muddy but what we're doing now is just putting these four by twos on the top which helps straighten up the cassettes on the top so it's all nice and straight. So we're just getting those on now, um, trying to get the rest of the outer shell up. This is all taking shape. Got this inner wall in. This is all in one day or half a day. Isn't it, Peach? Yep. <laughs> so that's all taking shape. So let's crack on. So we've been held up a little bit with the rain. Uh, but we've got more or less the outer shell of the building up. We're still putting the roof on. 
Uh, we've got some OSB to go on these front pieces. Um, obviously you can see the, the general shape. Got the roofing timbers on. Guys are just putting the timbers on the outside, which will frame the roof. Let's have a quick look. It's got a window there, which we mentioned earlier. Sort of round the back, they've just got this overhang. It's gonna be sheet metal cladding on the back, which is um, maintenance free. And then on the front, elevation. And one of the sides, we're gonna have larch with a satin oak stain on it. It's got another window going here. Obviously bifolds in the front. We've got a little bit of a steel box section just to give it a bit of support for the, uh, the bifolds. That's super muddy. So guys just getting the timbers on the side there. It's all taking shape, so I'm just cutting some OSB sections to frame this bit out either side and then a piece across the top. And then by the time I've done that, the guys will get across with some more four by two across here on the side. And then we can, hopefully the roofing boards will turn up. We can get those on, get the building wrapped and get the rubber roof on. Then it's watertight, so we can leave that for a few days before we come back. So that's all the roofing trim on the front done. Uh, the guys are just going to get the fairing strips on now, which are the timbers which go on top of the roof to give it the fall backwards, gives it like a four inch drop. I'm going to be putting the breathable membrane all the way around the building so that sort of protects it. Once we've done that, then we have some lunch and then we'll get the roofing boards on and then the rubber roof and then we'll be pretty much done for today. Um, it's pretty muddy here, got a lot of rain, but uh, we're getting there. We're making good progress with the studio now. Uh, we just got to get the the roofing boards on. Um, it's a bit of a bit of a muddy one down here, so uh, we've been slipping around. It's been raining. It's just stopped really, so not too bad. Let's just have a little look around, see where we're up to. Uh, as mentioned, it's split into two parts. At the front, we're going to have bifold doors, which are going to come across here. There's actually a window behind the membrane here. The inner divide, there's going to be a win studio window in between these two rooms. You see the window there. Um, so yeah, we got all the roof up and the furring strips are in. So this gives the, the roof a four inch drop to the back. Uh, so we got a gutter at the back. Yeah, so it's all taking shape. We've got a steel beam in the front which is a hundred mil square sort of steel beam just to sort of beef up the bifold door opening so there's no movement on that. Uh, so yeah, before we go today, what we're gonna try and do is get the 18 mil boards on the roof. So we get those on and then we'll just lay the rubber roof over the top and staple that down for now. So we can, uh, hopefully this will all dry out. <laughs> it's got pretty wet, but uh, Hopefully next time we come, this will have dried out and then we can bond all the, the base plates to the floor with some OB1 silicone, which uh, is a really good product, which kind of goes off in moist conditions, but obviously we won't do it in this state. But yeah, so uh, it's all taking shape. So we've got a four and a half hour drive back. So we're gonna get all this done, try and get tidied up and then yeah, get back to the north. So we'll see you guys shortly. Into the matrix. <laughs> so we're just about to get the roofing boards on now. We're gonna start over in that corner and work our way along. I think we've got along even. I think we've got 18 boards to put on. So once we get these on, Jake will be cutting downstairs, me and PJ putting these on, then we'll get the rubber roof on and then it's all watertight so we can leave it for a few days. Here we go.
that's the roof boards done. We're just going to get the rubber roof on now and uh, just lay it on. So it's nice and waterproof. So we finally got the outer shell up. Uh, we're just uh, tidying up now. <laughs> that's quite a quite a job for two days. Um, just to give you a quick walk around. So this is going to be the uh, live room in there. So we've got a door there, window between uh, live room and the control room. Uh, so there's going to be a room within a room in this one. Uh, there's going to be a window there. Obviously a window on the other side. So this will be a room within a room. Grand piano will be in here. And then on this side, we're going to have the control room, which is just going to be a standard garden room, really. So um, it's going to have bifold doors at the front, obviously window here. Um, yeah, so we're just uh, packing up now and then heading back home. So that's all going well. Okay, so what I thought I'd just run through quickly is how the ventilation works. So a couple of things, we've got a vent hole here, which is a four inch hole. And what we'll do is we'll have a six meter length of ducting will go from there and we'll run it sort of this is going to be a second ceiling in here so it can run in the roof line so this will go somewhere down here